if you were to do it in earlier or previous versions of Resolve, this would have taken you at least eight times longer. They definitely fixed these. Well, not fixed these, but they've added these feature in DaVinci Resolve 19 that will save you a ton of time if you want to make some cool motion graphics, text animations. With the introduction of the text plus or the shape text, actually, you have a lot of cool things that you can do now. If you see my previous video where I talk about the S text, I mentioned that it wouldn't be cool if they added some outline animations options, right? And thanks to Scape Edits, left a comment on that video telling me that it is actually available for you to create these effect by using an S outline right after the S text. So if you take a look at these effect that I created right here, it was just a little bit of fun just to try out a few things, right? You can do a lot of interesting combinations right here. Now, all you need to create an outline animation with an S text is these. First of all, the S text. So we're going to add that there on this X text, write whatever you want, and then modify these to your liking. You can use any font that you want. Now, if you press Control and Spacebar, you can add an S outline effect right after, press 2, and it will look a little bit too thick for my liking, at least just for now. If you want to make these thicker, you can always do so right here on the right in the inspector. I'm going to make these a little bit thinner and I'm actually going to make the text a little bit bigger. I'm going to try to get closer to the notes section here because that's one of the things that always people talk about like, oh, I cannot see the notes actually. And yeah, I mean, it's just how things are built, right? So I'm going to try to make these as easy as possible. All right now that you're here, you have the text note and on this text note, all you have to do is animate the length. That's it. It's so much quicker. If you've seen my previous video, which I did maybe a couple of months ago, I use I created a video showing this effect. I'm going to link it somewhere. I'm going to leave it somewhere. And it's a super long process because you have to actually animate the actual polygons or masks if you want to do this. Now you do this in a few seconds and it's really cool. So all you have to do now is there and then you maybe go to frame 24. At this, at the length animation, you can go to the spline tool, fit to screen, press F, and you have super cool text animation. Now, there's more complex things that you can build from these. Like, let's say you wanted to create one for each letter. How would you do that? Well, now we are learning some pretty cool stuff, but you want to know what's cool as well? Well, the paperful effect, which I created, is a tool that allows you to create paperful effects or realistic paperful effects and add them to your videos in seconds. So if that is something that you want to do, make sure to check out paperfulleffects.com. Let's continue with the video. If you wanted to create these so that there's a little bit of a delay between each letter, you have to do these. Create a couple of copies and a couple of render notes. And this is just me right now thinking of how to do this render. So this is just bonus. I'm going to copy these right here four times. And I'm going to connect all of these like that. And we can see our text right here. Now there's four texts right here. And I should have actually created an, uh, what do you call this instance of these, right? Now, because you cannot have a max for these texts right here, what you want to do is, well, first of all, I'm going to increase the tracking a little bit so we have the masks working a little bit more easily. And here we have this first mask. It's going to be for the first letter, like that. I'm going to copy these because we need four masks. I'm going to leave this one right here and then another one right there. This one is going to be for the E, so I'm going to make these fit right there. Now, this one is going to be for the X. This one is going to be for the last T. And you would want to do the masking step at the last step, basically, because if you were to adjust the size of these right now, then you would have to readjust the size of your mask, right? So. After you are happy with the size of your text and all that, then you're good to go. Okay, since we only have the outline animated, we can just select that. And let's open the spline tool. I'm going to select the last three. Hold shift. Ah, 
whole shift, move these to the side. Now I'm going to go five frames again, and I'm going to actually just select the last two. Move these again. Whoops. I hate it when it goes vertically. It always goes vertically when I want it to go horizontally. Anyways, that's just one weird thing that always tends to happen. Maybe I should find a way to lock the vertical option. In. But yeah. Okay, now if we press play, we have one that has a delay like that. And it took, what, two minutes maybe? If you wanted to do this in the other video, just following that video would have taken you like 20 minutes maybe. So yeah, that is how you can create a pretty cool outline animation now with the text shape or the shape text in the Ventures of 19. Now, I could make a little bit of a longer video if you wanted me, if you want me to talk about the keyframes that I use for this intro one, because it's a little bit of just like, let me show you the transform node and then the outline. And then I also use a background and I connected all of that to the background as a mask so that I was able to use a gradient color, as you can see right here, because otherwise, to my knowledge, at least, there's no way to add a gradient in the shapes section for now. So yeah, that is a super cool new feature that is in DaVinci Resolve 19. Make sure to try it out and experiment with it if it is something that you would find useful in your projects. And that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you want me to create a project file for this little experiment, let me know and I'll see if I can put it together and then share it with all the Suave Club members. So. That is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one here in Slavi. Bye. Oh, oh, before I leave, I just wanted to mention the latest little project that I put together, which is called DaVinciResolveDownloads.com, which is basically a repository. If that's is that a, how you say it, I don't know. It's a repo of a bunch of tools created by DaVinci Resolve creators in this space. Make sure to check that out if that is something that you want to explore. All right, now go and try these out and build some cool stuff with these new feature in DaVinci Resolve 19.